What is up, Zalter here. Steam is currently having the next fest going on, and I noticed that Flintlock The Siege of Dawn had a demo out. This game looked interesting to me because it looks like an action adventure game, similar to Outward, so I decided to try it out. Here are my first impressions of the game. By the way, this video is not sponsored. The demo itself is pretty short, with two regions available, not including the intro region. It took me about an hour to complete, even with all my deaths. So, while I do have a couple things to say, I was only able to get a very narrow view of the game. Let's start out with the positive thoughts. I was blown away by the game, especially the setting, mechanics, and gameplay concepts. Immediately after starting the demo, we get placed on the battlefield in a war between humans and an army of the dead controlled by a malicious god. Through events that take place during the demo, the dead overrun the humans, and the main character, Nor, is tasked with saving the world with the help of a seemingly benevolent god, Enki. Nor is equipped with many ways to deal with enemies, including a trusty axe, flintlock pistol, and later, a musket, not to mention additional abilities from Enki. Using these equipment or abilities, she's able to dodge, block, parry, or interrupt enemy attacks. While there are specific enemy attacks that require certain responses, I felt well equipped to deal with all the enemies. Combat felt smooth and engaging, with the exception of one problem that I'll bring up later in the video. The demo shows two places that have been overrun with enemies. By defeating those enemies, Nor is able to liberate the area, allowing the inhabitants to return. While I was not able to figure out all the benefits of liberating these places from the demo, I thought it was a pretty cool concept. The game recommends using a controller for the best experience, but I was stuck with a keyboard and mouse, so I was unable to determine how much better playing with a controller is. That being said, the controls on keyboard and mouse were not too bad, although it did take some time to get used to the controls, and I died a lot. Most likely due to a skill issue. One problem that I did have is a lock-on mechanic. Often, I would lock on to undesired targets and it would lead to awkward situations. Overall, as a person who does not have much experience with Souls-like games, I had a great time with the demo. The game was beautiful, the combat was engaging, and the story and setting were interesting. I would recommend trying it out for yourselves, as it is a free demo currently available on Steam Next Fest during the time of this recording. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.